Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another reading of the book of Job. I just ended chapters 7 through 9, and we will continue reading with chapter 10. My soul is weary of my life. I will leave my complaint upon myself. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. This is Job still uh, writing. I will say unto God, do not condemn me. Show me wherefore thou contendeth, contendeth with me. Is it good unto thee that thou shouldest oppress, that thou shouldest despise the work of thine hands, and shine upon the counsel of wicked? Hast thou eyes of flesh, eyes of flesh, or, or seest thou as men see? Are thy days as the days of man? Are thy years as man's days, that thou inquirest after mine iniquity, and searcheth after my sin? Thou knowest that I am not wicked, and there is none that can deliver out of my out of thine hand. Thine hands have made me and fashioned me together round about, yet thou thou dost destroy me. Remember, I beseech thee, that thou hast made me as clay. And wilt thou bring me unto the dust again? Hast thou not poured me out as milk, and curdled me like cheese? Thou hast clothed me with skin and flesh, and hast fenced me with bones and sinews. Thou hast granted me life and favor, and thy visitation hath preserved my spirit. These things hast thou hid in thine heart. I know that it, this is with thee. If I sin, then thou markest me. And thou wilt not acquit me from mine iniquity. If I be wicked, woe unto me. And if I be righteous, yet will I not live my head. I am full of confusion, therefore see thou mine affliction. For it, it increaseth, thou huntest me as a fierce lion. And again, thou showest thy, thyself marvelous upon me. Thou renewest thy witnesses against me, and, and increaseth thine indignation upon me. Ch changes and war are against me. Wherefore then hast thou, why hast thou, or wherefore why hast thou, why then hast thou uh, brought me forth out of the womb? Oh, that I had given up the ghost, and no eye had seen me. Seen me, I should have been as though I had not been. I should have been carried from the womb to the grave. Are not my days few? Cease then and let me alone. That I may, may take comfort a little. Before I go, whence I shall not return. Even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. A land of darkness as darkness itself. You know, the shadow of death without an, or, any order and where the light is as darkness. Chapter 11. Then answers Zophar the Nahamatite, saying, Should not the multitude of words be answered? And should a man full of talk be justified? Should thy lies make men hold their peace? And when thou mocketh, shall no man make thee a sin? For thou hast said, My doctrine is pure, and I am clean in thine eyes. But oh, that God would speak and open his lips against thee, that he would show thee the secrets of wisdom. Excuse me, that they are double to that which is. Excuse me. Know therefore that God exacted of thee less than than thine iniquity deserveth. Canst thou, by searching, find out God? Canst thou find out the Almighty unto perfection? It is as high as heaven, and what canst thou do? Deeper than hell. Deeper than hell. That's interesting. Verse 8. Deeper than hell, shield. Okay. Deeper than hell or shield, what can what canst thou know? The measure thereof is longer than the earth and broader than the sea. 
If he cut off and shut up or gathered together, then who can hinder, hinder him? For he, for he knoweth vain men. He seeth wick, wick, wickedness also. Will he then consider it? For vain men will be, will be wise. For vain or in vain man would be wise. The man be born like a wild donkey's colt. If thou prepare thine heart and stretch out thine hands toward me, if iniquity be in thine hand, put it far away, and let not wickedness dwell in thy tabernacles. For then shalt thou lift up thy face without spot. Yea, thou shalt be steadfast, and shalt not fear. Because thou shalt forget thy misery, and remember it as waters that, that pass, which pass away. Thine age shall be clearer in the noonday, thou shalt shine forth. Thou shalt be as, a, as the morning. Thou shalt be secure, because there is hope. Yea, thou shalt dig about thee, and thou shalt take thy rest in safety. Also thou shalt lie down, and none shall make thee, thee afraid. Yea, many shall suit with thee, make suit with thee unto thee. But the eyes of the wicked shall fall, and they shall not escape. And their hope shall be as the giving up of the ghost. Chapter 12. Job answered and saying, No doubt, but ye are the people, and wisdom shall die with you. But I have understanding as well as you. I am not an inferior to you. Yea, who knoweth know not much things as these? I am as one mocked of his neighbor, who calleth upon God, and he answereth them. The just upright man. The just upright man is left to scorn. He who is ready to slip with, the, with his feet is as a lamb, despised in the thought of him who is at ease. The tabernacles of robbers prosper, and they who provoke God are secure. And through whose hands God bringeth abundantly. But ask now the beasts, and they shall teach thee. And the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. Or speak to the earth, and they shall teach thee. And the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee. Who knoweth not in all these things, these, that the hand of the Lord hath wrought this? In whose hand is the soul of every living thing, and the breath of all mankind? Doth not the ear try words, and the mouth taste his meat? With the ancient, with the ancient is wisdom. In the length of days, understand. With him is wisdom and strength. He hath counsel and understand. Behold, he breaketh down, and it cannot be built again. He shutteth up a, man, up a man, and there can be no opening. Behold, he withholdeth the waters, and they dry up. Also, he sendeth them out, and they overturn the earth. With him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. He leadeth counselors away, spoiled, and maketh the judges fools. He looseth the bonds of kings, and girdeth their loins with girdle. He leadeth princes away, spoiled, and overthroweth the mighty. He removeth away the speech of the trusted, and taketh away the understanding of the aged. He poureth contempt upon princes, and wicked, wick, weakeneth the strength of the mighty. He discovereth deep things out of darkness and bringeth out the light, the shadow, to light, the shadow of death. He increaseth the nations and destroyeth them. He enlargeth the nations and straighteneth them again. He taketh away the heart of the chief of the people of the earth and causeth them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way. They grope in the dark without light. And he maketh them to stagger like drunken man. Lo, mine eyes have seen all this. Mine ear, mine ear hath heard and understood it. What ye know, the same do I know also. I am not inferior to you. Surely I would speak to the Almighty, and I desire to reason with God. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Oh, that ye would all together hold your peace, and it shall be your wisdom. Hear now my reasoning, 
and hearken to the pleadings of my lips. Will ye speak wickedly for God and talk deceitfully for him? Will ye accept his person and, and ye contend, contend for God? Is not good, it, is it not good that he should search thou out? Or as one man mocketh another, do ye so mock him? He will surely reprove you. Reprove thou, if ye do secretly, secretly accept persons. Shall not his excellency make you afraid, and his dread fall upon you? Your remembrances are like unto ashes, your bodies to bodies of clay. Hold your peace, let me alone, that I may speak. And let come on me what will. Wherefore do I take my flesh in my, in my teeth. And put my life in mine hand. Though, the, he, slay, though he slay me. Slay me. Yet will I trust in him. And I will maintain mine own ways before him. He also shall be my salvation. For an hypocrite shall not come before him. Hear diligently my speech and my declaration. With your ears. Behold, now I have ordered my cause. I know that I shall be justified. He who is, excuse me, who is he who pleaded, who will plead with me? For now, if I hold my tongue, I shall give up the ghost. Only do not two things unto me. Then will I not hide myself from thee. Withdraw thine hand far from me, and let not thy dread make you afraid, make me afraid. Then call thou, and I will answer, or let me speak, and, and, and answer thou me. How many are mine iniquities and sins? Make me to know my transgressions and my sin. Wherefore hidest thou thy face, and holdest me for thine end? Wilt thou break a leaf driven to and fro, and wilt thou pers pursue the dry stubble? For thou writest bitter things against me, and maketh me to possess the iniquities of my, of, my, of my youth. Thou puttest my feet also in the stocks, and looketh narrowly unto all my paths, that thou, thou settest a print upon the heels of my feet. He, as a rotten thing, consumeth, as a garment that is moth-eaten. Chapter 14. Man who is born of a woman is a few days, and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and come to continue with not. Dost thou open thine eyes upon such a one and bringeth me unto judgment with thee? Who can bring the clean thing out of her unclean? unclean? Not one. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his month, months are with me. Thou hast appointed his bonds that he cannot pass. Turn from him that he may rest till he shall accomplish as a hiring of his day. For there is hope of a tree. If it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof Wax cold in the earth, and the stock thereof, therefore, thereof die in the ground. Yet through the scent of water, it will be bud. It will, it will bud, excuse me, and bring forth boat, <clears throat> boughs like a plant. But man dieth and wasteth away. Yea, man giveth up the ghost, and where is he? As the waters fall from the sea, and the flood decayeth and dryeth up, so man lieth down and riseth not, till the heavens be no more. They shall not awake, nor be raised out of their sleep. O oh, that thou wouldest hide me in the grave, that thou wouldest keep me secret until thy wrath be past, that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me. If a man die, shall he live again. All the days of his appointed time will I wait till my change come. Thou shalt call, and I will answer thee. Thou shalt have a desire to work of thine hands. For now thou numbereth my days, my sin, excuse me. Dost thou not watch over my sin? My transgression is sealed up in a bag, and thou sowest up mine iniquity. 
Surely the mountain falleth, falling, cometh to nothing, and the rock is removed out of its place. The waters wear the stones, thou washeth away the things which grow out of the dust, out of the dust of the earth, and thou destroyest the hope of man. Thou prevaileth, prevaileth over, uh, pre prevaileth forever against him, and he passeth. Thou changest his countenance and sendeth him away. His sons come to honor, and he knoweth it not, knoweth it not, and they are brought low, but he perceiveth it not of him. But his flesh upon him shall have pain, and his soul within him shall mock. That is the reading of Job, and I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to stop there at chapter 15, and I will come back for you later. Bye-bye.